Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, we are going to learn how you are going to schedule a meeting within the team itself and then help people to basically see what their calendar looks like and what all meetings they are basically supposed to join, right? So scheduling the meeting within Teams is absolutely simple and easy. You simply have to go to this calendar icon here and it will show you the calendar for the work week, right? So basically all the work week it will show if you want to change this calendar to a day or a week. Okay, simply say, so for example, you also want to see Sunday and Monday there it will you need to change it to the week okay so let's say we simply want to see the daily calendar okay so for example how my day looks like today all right so if you change it to daily then you will see how your work day look like how many meetings you have in this calendar it will be all showing here and then you can plan your work accordingly now setting up the meetings within teams is absolutely simple so say for example i want to set up a meeting with someone okay on a particular day so let's say i switch to work week and on monday at 10 a.m i want to set up a meeting with someone okay so say for example simply if you just hover over you will see that in half an hour slot this highlights these slots okay so simply if i go ahead at 10 a.m and click so this means basically from 10 to 10 30 slot will be picked up okay so you simply click on that and Microsoft Teams will automatically pick the new meeting pop up or it will appear basically with the time zone that you are in. Okay. And it will automatically select that during this time show as busy. Uh, you can categorize this meeting uh, in different, you know, category or the color category. Okay. So, so for example, I just want to categorize is as a green category. Okay. And then in the response options, I want to request the responses from the members that I'm inviting in this particular meeting. Okay, so simply I have to say request responses and then also if I want to allow forwarding of this meeting to other members. So for example, I have set up this meeting for only three people and I do not want this meeting request to be forwarded to any more people apart from those three people. Okay, this is confidential meeting only between the three people that I'm going to set. I'll simply disable this allow forwarding option there. Okay, if I want to allow this meeting invite to be forwarded to any further uh, people within the team, simply click on allow forwarding and make sure this is checked there. Okay, now say for example this is meeting for release one okay so something you know some headline there and then in the required attend attendees you have to basically select the required attend attendees who are required in this particular meeting for sure right so you simply go ahead and choose the members that are required for this particular meeting okay so adding more people you simply click on adding uh, basically searching those members and add in this particular box here all right now in the optional if you want to say i want to add optional attendees who if they want they can attend but they are optional right so in the click on that optional and then click the person or search for the person who or whom you want to basically put in the optional right so you can have multiple people within the optional multiple people within the required field so once you are done with this you see the date and time automatically being picked up right if you want to change the timeline right so for example you want to have it for an hour okay simply click on this drop down from 10 a.m and you say one hour okay and it will automatically adjust to from 10 to 11 all right and then there are other options for example this by default will be not repeat meeting right if you want to set up a meeting that is recurring you can click on this drop down here and you can select every weekday monday to friday it will repeat at the same time 10 to 11 okay if you select every weekday it will be basically from monday to friday it will repeat every day every working day until you select the end date okay so say for example i want to repeat this meeting only up to 31st of december 2022 and then i have to select this end date here all right and then click on save so this way it will repeat this particular meeting and you can set up a recurring meeting which repeats every day with a particular end date okay and you can simply click on save 
So you'll see that it has changed occurs every Monday through Friday until this particular date, right? That's what we have said. Now you can say repeat daily or repeat weekly, right? So you repeat every one day, repeat and then select the end date, right? Or you can say repeat weekly, repeat monthly, yearly or custom repeat as well. So in the custom repeat, I can choose on which days I want to have this meeting, right? So I'll say repeat every, you know, say for example, instead of one day, I want to have it every two days repeat, okay? And then select an end date when this whole meeting will end. So you'll see that it has occurs every two days starting this and then it will basically go on. The last option is the custom repeat. So basically if I click on the custom, right, so I can choose the recurrence based on the custom setting that I can do here in the set recurrence. Okay. If I do not want to have this meeting repeating, which I was doing previously, so just one instance of the meeting. So click on does not repeat and then here you can simply go ahead and add channel if you want right not required you can add the location right so for example you all want to gather in a particular meeting room you select that particular location here and then you type in what all agenda about the meeting is right and within this this is a text field so you can type in or you you can basically use all the required or all the available options within the formatting of the text to format it in any ways that you want right but mostly you will be you know keeping it very simple right so i'll simply say agenda to discuss release one backlog items okay so simple i'll choose that and because this is a teams meeting everyone can join remotely anyways right uh, through the teams call so location is not required as such okay but if you have you know some location that you want to specify you can specify the location and click on send okay so as soon as you will click on send the meeting will be sch scheduled all right and you will see the calendar will be blocked accordingly from let me see that it is there so it was let me change it today work week okay so it wasn't uh, refreshed basically so now you will see that in the calendar from uh, on monday release one discussion from 10 to 11 is basically scheduled already and the other person would have got the invite all right so now when the other person will basically accept the invite or they will put any of the details within the meeting invite you will be basically notified right so if you see the details here just clicking on this meeting you can see that there is a teams link basically right and the chat with participants so you can directly start chat with all of the participants that you have included here in this particular meeting right so this is briefly how you are going to set up any meeting within teams whether it's a single instance or a recurring meeting the setup process is absolutely simple it is very easy to go ahead and go to the calendar and set up the meeting invite so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching